of the year we have the Atlantic high pressure moving northwards. It does allow a lot more moisture to come in and also the possibility of some unstable conditions. So in April we tend to see those April showers and we could be seeing some of those especially across the hillsides of Trinidad as we go through the day. But for Tobago occasional cloudiness and the passing shower. There's just the low chance of a shower that could turn heavy maybe thundery but that will be again more so for Trinidad. So into Trinidad then we move across the northern range looking for cloudiness around Diego Martin, Maraval and into Valencia and again the possibility of a shower or two coming through Piarco and then down towards Chaguanas. For southern areas uh, there will be a bit more cloudiness for San Fernando and Maruga. A lot of high level cloud is coming through but there's also some low level moisture and that will add to the humid feel as you go through the afternoon especially along those western areas. So if you are going to be out and about looking for a humid 33 degrees Celsius in Trinidad, 31 likely in Tobago and that is how it should stay as you go through Friday as well. But at least uh, through Saturday you could be seeing some of that Saharan dust beginning to make inroads once more and turning quite hazy for both Trinidad and Tobago as you head into the weekend. Now heading offshore we continue to see most of those winds coming in just about 15 knots for the most part but you will notice that the seas are moderate chop at 2 meters out in the Atlantic 1.5 in the Caribbean and we are still keeping somewhat long swells from the northeast at 11 seconds as you go through Thursday and you have your high tide at 7.30 a.m. and then your low tide at 2.30 p.m. So that's weather and that's it for me.